So our project essentially was having a dental day at the speech and therapy center and it's, it was working with children who have speech and behavioral issues. Uh, what we wanted to do was create um, a, a very kid-friendly environment for children that have anxiety and we came up with a lot of ideas to um, have a lot of games and you know at the same time have things that are very standard to a dental environment. So the main aim of the day was just to get them acquainted with what it is like to be a dentist. So we took in dental chairs and we took in little puppets for them to play with and we had a lot of activities to teach them mm -hmm. and the end goal was to basically reduce dental fear. So another thing of why I really wanted to do the project is my cousin is my second cousin is actually autistic so he's on the spectrum so I've had that experience working with him and that I found challenging personally so I wanted to broaden my ranges. So this was the first time we did this project so we some of the obstacles that we had to overcome were planning out this event um, and just talking to people from the CSTC side to make sure that we were allowed to do some of the things that we planned such as um, you know talking about some diet concerns and like bringing in certain foods. A lot of the volunteers had never been to the clinic before. We had never done this day before. Um, it was something new for everyone. We went in expecting a very black and white kind of, this is how we're gonna run the day. This is how each of the activities are gonna go. But it was actually very insightful in that every child was different. So a few obstacles was that some children were more cooperative into even sitting in the dental chair. Some children did not even want to sit in the dental chair so we had to kind of go around what we had planned to get them into the dental chair or get them partaking in some of the activities. So that was very interesting to deal with. I mean we learned a lot and I hopefully they learned a lot as well but that was definitely one of the key problems that we found. Yeah. So for next time around we want to make this more of an educational experience for our for the kids that we see and their parents. So this time, I felt like it was a lot of fun for the children, mm -hmm. but uh, we would like to work on having uh, planned activities that can teach them about their oral hygiene um, and stuff that they can take home with them to keep using what we taught them. With, with children on the spectrum or who have these sorts of issues, is key to remember with parents. We need to educate the parents as well in terms of how to administer at home dental care so a lot of activities were for the children so in the future maybe having something to do for the parents to be actively part partaking in so they can also take away some ground information that they can progress with their child at home. The most rewarding thing was just seeing how happy the children were they were just so thrilled to come in and sit in a dental chair and they were just so curious and started playing with um, the dental, the little stuffed toys that we had that mimicked um, dental instruments. And not only that, but their siblings that were there, they got involved and they were just, you know, doing exams on each other and I thought that was a lot of fun. Not only could we see that the child was happy and they learned a lot, but the parents could see and the people at the clinic were aware of the fact that this is a very good thing to do and that we can do it again next year. And the staff at the clinic actually planned a whole dental week. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the children's had been, children had been doing oral health care related mm -hmm. activities throughout the week. So we were kind of the final concluding part of the week and they were saying how it just reinforced a lot of ideas. Mm -hmm. So it was nice to see these children taking away things and not just, hey, I did a fun activity for the day, but hey, I've been doing this all week. I've learned something, now I can do this in my life. So that was very rewarding. To see the way that it turned out, I'm very, very, happy with mm -hmm. the way everything went and I can honestly say that everyone, the volunteers from CSTC, from our dental school and the parents and ch children had a great time. A big takeaway as well was just how it wasn't just for us as dental students getting the outreach, dental hygiene students were volunteering. Mm -hmm. We had faculty members from here volunteering their time which was great. I think in the future it would be nice to have a bit more experience with maybe some peds residents or Practice, providers who've got that special needs training and experience, mm -hmm. I think it would make it a wholesome experience at the end of the day. So going in next year, having all these different departments and even more collaboration will be even bigger and greater. I've been brushing with my toothbrush, brushing every day. I've been brushing with my toothbrush.